All right, we're gonna we're gonna win here. Yeah, you're ready. We deserve this room. Oh my god, yes, that feels so good. <laughs> That's what we deserve, gamers. What's up, friends, and welcome back to a new Duskmorn standard video. And today I was inspired to make another room deck. Now, the last time I tried rooms, which was an Izzet room deck, I was severely traumatized because it was terrible. But an Ortsov room deck actually gives us access to some really cool cards, really cool synergies, and some powerful rooms as well. So the idea for this deck is basically all around the Caustic Bronco and Ghosty Dancers. So let's talk about the Bronco first. Two mana, two, two, Snake Horse, our snores. And when it attacks, you reveal the top card of your library and put, the card, put it into your hand. You lose life equal to that card's mana value if the Bronco isn't saddled. Otherwise, each opponent loses that much life. So the greatest thing is uh, about these rooms is that the mana value of them uh, when they're at the top of your library in your hand is basically all mana symbols on the card combined. So that means the funeral room slash awakening hall is technically worth 11. Uh, the unholy annex is eight and the dual maker shop is eight as well. So you can get in a position where your horse attacks while settled. You top deck the awakening hall and all of a sudden you deal 11 damage to your opponent. Now, if you also have a blood letter of Eclazots on the battlefield while doing that, the opponent is just gone. <laughs> so the blood letter of Eclazots is really in here with some uh, additional spice with, uh, with the caustic Bronco. There's also ghostly dancers in here, which I wanted to play with for a very long time and I finally found the right deck for. Five mana, two, five with flying. And when it enters, you return an enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand or you unlock a locked door of a room you control it also has Eerie, so whenever an enchantment you control enters, and whenever you fully unlock a room, you create a 3-1 white spirit creature token with flying. And the Ghostly Dancers is basically the way for this deck to unlock these very expensive rooms that we're working with. So our rooms of choice in here are the Dual Maker Shop slash Porcelain Gallery, the Unholy Annex slash Ritual Chamber, and the Funeral Room slash Awakening Hall. So a sub-theme to this deck is basically token value. Uh, we try to like go wide, so we have the Overlord of the Mistmores here to create tokens for us the Sanguine Evangelist, and Toby Bestie Befriender as well, so that we can really uh, get value out of perhaps going into the Borseling Gallery with the, the Ghostly Dancers. Um, the Dollmaker Shop also just synergizes nicely with the card itself, because whenever one or more non-toy creatures you control attack a player, you create a 1-1 one -one toy. It's a very nice way to go wide. Uh, we do have the Unholy Annex and Ritual Chamber in here, because it's just a very powerful card. You create a 6-6 six -six Demon with the Ritual Chamber, uh, which is also very, very nice to unlock with Ghostly Dancers on Curve. Um, but there's also two copies of Blood Letter of Akasas in here, which is nice with Holy Annex. And card draw never hurts. And then we have another banger here, the Funeral Room and the Awakening Hall. So the Funeral Room actually works quite nicely with the amount of tokens that we have in here. Sometimes we're in scenarios where we have to like chum block. And if you have the Funeral Room active, at least your opponent loses one life. You gain one life here just, uh, just chumping with some tokens. And then we have the banger, the Awakening Hall. So it's an eight mana room. And whenever you unlock this door, you return all creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. I can't say that I used that in my gameplay or had the opportunity to go into the uh, the Awakening Hall, but I can see it do quite some work for you if a game goes on, uh, goes on long. So that's kind of what we're working with here. Uh, finally, a room deck that ended up doing something for me. I cannot wait to show you the gameplay here, but before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. And your support is greatly appreciated as always. Please let me know in the comments below how you are approaching room decks. I feel like a deck that's super focused on rooms is maybe a bit questionable at best. Like this is really the first deck I've tried that felt great. But maybe some of you guys do have an is at room deck that works or you're playing rooms in another color that's like focused on it. Please let me know in the comments. I'd be very interested to see how you have built your deck. And with that being said, guys, let's get into the gameplay. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards like their incredible katana sleeves, which are my absolute favorite for saving up my magic decks. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure, and stylish. If you're interested in getting the best sleeves on the market, make sure to use my link in the description below. My favorite hand, I think this is a snap keep, the one fountain port in my 25 land ords off deck. Can't be better. <laughs> Bruh. You know what? I'm protesting the fountain port. Just gonna get rid of it. Is this is this control now? Fuck if that'd be fucking terrible if true. Fuck. 
Jane sold a witch or something? I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Control would not be a great matchup to run into. Like, why am I... If we had this removal last game, dude, like... Dude, play against the shitty mid-range deck, find no removal, play against Azorius control, find every removal spell you have. Might just be that the deck is complete garbage though, we might just want to move on. Maybe it could work. I don't know. It's keepable at least. Dolrum and Bjork. Yeah, it's the true, <laughs> the true sign of mental illness. Come on, Dak, you got this. Be in the dual room, listen to Bjork and playing MGA. Exactly. If I could get ghostly dancers, you know what? We fucking deserve this. And I encountered ghostly dancers into porcelain gallery for the win. God, it's me. Like, we deserve this. We we deserve this. We do. And before then, removing my porcelain gallery, aren't they? Wake me up. Can't wake up. Rip. Cry every time. Snores? Toy, yeah, it's so good. They even had the tools to remove it. Cheech. And have shit, I guess. Go into the ritual chamber. Try again. Yeah, but yeah. Surely it's better to just like go for the unlock value on the um the unholy annex. Later in arms is definitely like the number one reason at this point in time to be in uh be in white mana.
Shit. I got the Overlord, but I'm sure we'll get Sunfall again. Maybe not, though. Maybe not. Thought that if Akazots could kind of go off here. Bro, what are you doing? Do you have another lay down arms? Probably. Aggressively hovering. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take them like ordering it like that anytime. Please don't let Sunfall build them out. Please. <laughs> please, please. I promise I'll keep a hand with the rest in it. I'll be better. Did they not know that they couldn't they wouldn't get the counters or were they just like didn't they didn't care what they would grab and just uh dip. Honestly slay. Eat the uh, emotional support found port has arrived as well. I mean, I'll take a land, I guess. Remove. Found port is your biggest bully. I know. The thing really fucking hates me. Oof, the double. Oh, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. You know what? I'm so happy with that. What a draw. All right, guys, we're believing in the, the snores dealing a ton of damage. I fucking am. Hmm. Huh. Uh, never mind. Briefly interrupted by me playing, um, removing Beza. There we go. Yo, chillin', what's up? Made it to one of your streams since I moved from to standard from Pyo. Ah, shit, hate. I mean, I'm happy you're here, but I hate the, the reason for it. Let me just say it that way. What's he kind of throwing Pyo under the bus? Oh, there is the blue. I'm still wondering why they're playing blue in the first place. But having a pioneer, it basically got like screwed over. Because um, it's not going to be a for competitive format this uh, com upcoming year. Yo, four damage. Can I get rid of this? Like the, the competitive formats for the next year are going to be standard and modern. No Pyo anywhere to be found. All right, triple and holy annex is a little bit much. Honestly. Yeah, still streaming on the laptop for now. But the setup is looking good. It's looking cozy. As you can see, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're getting there. Getting there with the vibes. Yeah, no, I feel that. I feel that for sure. Not really a modern gamer either. Okay, so does Akazot or Bloodletter not just win? I guess I can't do it. 
I don't have the right mana for it. I can go Ghostly Dancers and Lochte and Holy Annex. Uh, you like to showcase Blood Letter? Yeah, I like it a lot. I'm a fan. See, like, I don't want to block the Enduring Innocence, because if they Sunfall me, which you're probably trying to do, then at least it gets exiled, right? Demon. I always try to trick you and fall for it, man. You can't fall for it. This is good, though. Like, we, we finally have our swamp, so the Bloodletter Reclazal just wins with an Unholy Annex. That's like four damage at, in our end step. Yeah, get out get out of here. Get out, get out of here. Thank you. All right, here we go. Snorsey on turn three saddle, hopefully. Our strategies. Yeah, now I, I game can only kind of imagine it being that easy either, but they somehow made it work. Horse gets settled. Broom gets found, please. Come on, baby, let it rip. Damn, three lands on top. Okay. I believed. Is this my blue eyed flesh deck? Could be, I guess. Yeah, it seems to be the blue-eyed flesh deck, I think. One thing you learned about playing the flash is don't plot the rooms for them because they get the expensive side at a discount. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Okay, I'll try an overlord. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna get countered, but. A free, a cheap overlord? Oh shit. Wait, could be fire. Damn, they're actually just chill with me getting an Overlord for two mana? Alright. I don't know if that was ever worth it, but yeah. Alright. <laughs> sure. They're running all these cards out at sorcery speed for what reason exactly, though? Like, why, why are we doing this? Bruh. <laughs> Where did your soul partition go, bestie? <laughs> Where'd it go? Right. 
That was something. That was something. Dolhouse was definitely cooking. My enemy is here. So we know they have Sphinx, Jetta, and Interrupter. Okay. Horsey. I'm a little worried here, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> playing with fire. Gamma paid off. Well, sweating for my life, but yeah, we're trying. It really is just like a coin flip between life and death. But see... Like, I respect this person a lot. And I don't know if they're playing my deck, but the cards line up. But it's really these people that are like out there in your YouTube comments like, deck is shit, went 1-4. Like... That, that that's really the way it is that very, so very often very, very often stoic sphinx is really good but you're not supposed to use it like that like i have two mana open very obviously and then you think the right play is to play the stoic sphinx on your turn when i have two mana open as like a deck that plays go for the throat. Like, it's not very heads up. Response to comments like that is skill issue. Yeah, and then you get replies back with, whoa, you're so arrogant. <laughs> like, every, every damn time. But it really is just a skill issue, but you know, God forbid. so wild okay pass the turn all right all right man I can't What could possibly go wrong, huh? I'm gonna get the rest. That's what's gonna happen. 49 deck. No, 25. Imme immediately sabotaged. It's just a vibe. The whole idea of the damn deck is to get the Bronco on two and a way to settle it on three, and we're not... <laughs> we're not anywhere close to that. Meanwhile, the opponent, Valgavos, fucking fateful, and turn... Like, that's just so fucking lame. What a high roll. Meanwhile, me... Two, five, like six land opening hands. My opponent, Valgavoth on turn three. Like, okay, man, I see. Stupid. Sometimes, sometimes this game really just gets to me. <laughs> sometimes. Really knows how to rub me the wrong way. All I want is for this deck to just play out the way I have it in mind and then we're good. At least to try. Yeah, I, would, I would like to see it. You know, I'm 
kick a land. Fuck you, fun for it. I'm still gonna fight with him in my opening end anyway. Well, we have a horse on two. Not a way to settle it, though. But who knows? Maybe. Stuck on two now? I really hope we're not going to be stuck on two now. All right, finally, we can do the we can do the thing. We can do the thing. Let's hit hard, Snores. We deserve it. Please don't cut it down. Eh, wasn't bad. Three damage is okay. Is this opponent high rolling or what is happening? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? For real? I'm so confused as to like how they are pulling this off. Like what what in the world? I need the fire of the rest now, basically. Or fire off rest in peace. I'm gonna have a bad time. Yeah. Imagine consistently like hitting your, your combo on turn three. That's crazy. That's actually insane. Unless Valgavoth's faithful of the most like card that finds its way into your opening hand all the time, but I doubt it somehow. I doubt it. Do I believe? All right, we're gonna we're gonna win here. Yeah, you're ready. We deserve this room. Oh my god, yes, that feels so good. <laughs> That's what we deserve, gamers. Finally, thank you, God. We deserve that shit. We deserve that so hard. Minus however much damage was that? Unreal. <laughs> 16 or something? Hell yeah. That was sick. But that's what we're trying to do in this damn deck. I wish there was ways to get it more consistently. That's the whole idea of the, the jank pile that we're working with right now. <laughs> All right. Just two omen hawkers, okay. All right, what about three of them? Sheesh. Just getting rid of the graveyards immediately. Like I could full on see this opponent do like in their city sewers and be able to reanimate their stuff all of a sudden. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My goodness. It's a shame that their deck auto concedes the graveyard hate, I guess. But uh anyways, here we are. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, do not fire off your uh stoics or your your sphinx's sorcery speed. If your opponent has enough ways 
meta up to remove it because you're asking for trouble. And at least if your opponent has removal up and you flash it in on their turn, right? Like they've spent mana and then you're free to like cast a bigger threat maybe. All right, what are we up against here? We're against um, Boros Aras. I was kind of afraid of that. These uh, dual maker shops are not my best friends here. The amount of times I see these challenger players like drop a land, not, you know, realizing that their cha challenger could hit a land drop for them and then they just miss out on the land. It happens so often. You're out leaving for Vegas? A. Hey. Damn. Time for me to get my shit back. Oh wait, fuck, I can't do that. It's war four. Oh well. I would lose here then. I forgot it was just I forgot there was two under there. Ah, we'd never win then. <laughs> it's fine. We'd never we'd never win then. Here we go. We have a fantastic sideboard against him though. Gotta get rid of all the greedy the greedy synergies, I think. Drop the greed, keep the vibes. Mm -mm -mm. I can miss a thing or two and I think it's it's fine. But yeah, I just I thought it was just one under there. I didn't bother to double check. Definitely on me. Surgical sweet, what? Wow. Spicy. I mean, they would get Manifold Mouse and I wouldn't be very happy. Uh, some world's players are putting it on their Twitter, but I don't, I don't know when, I don't know exactly when the deck lists are like going to come out officially, but, uh, I mean that they, like we see they have two Valiant payoff cards and one Valiant enabler, so I'm going to go after the enabler. Toby. Supposed to come out on Friday. Interesting. Yeah, we'll definitely be playing some uh, world stacks on stream then on Friday for sure. Well, I guess it depends when they're coming out because the stream will usually be live before I go to the convention. So it's going to be early streams. Um, so be ready for that, by the way. It's probably going to be streams like two or three hours earlier than normal. Toby can attack alone. Give me a red kite with three, three curiosity and three gigs. Yeah, curiosity is definitely the right move. I'm going to go see if I can get like a play set of curiosities in Vegas. Hopefully they're not too expensive yet. I don't know how much they go for, but I need them for cookies. Damn, bro. Two euros? Okay, let me make sure I don't get robbed. <laughs> Ryan, it's true.
Not the right moment for temporary lockdown here. You've been forced to become a tank main in deadlock. We're in the trenches. <laughs> a tank main? Oh no. Got this. What are they like? What cards do they have in their hand? They're not playing anything out. Oh, destroy evil. Okay. So, where's my payoff? What are we looking for? And Holy Annex, Overlord, Blood Letter, Liliana. Well, not Liliana, it's not really payoff, but. Mm -hmm. It's probably my, uh, my look down here. Seems pretty decent. Just a Toby, though. Toby all alone. What's Toby gonna do? Roaming the battlefield? The lone survivor? <laughs> Tony all along, yeah. Toby all along. Yep. Looking for a friend. Who's gonna give Toby a friend? I mean, I would plus, but the cutdown is also really good. What if they sheltered by Ghost Liliana? Then I cry, right? I don't think I'm in a position to uptick, but I can just play it out already. Okay, sure. I think, I think sheltered by Ghost will just be too big of a blowout. We can do that. Where is my top? Oh my god, where the fuck are my creatures? Please give Toby a friend. I'm fitting the, the black player stereotype where we're just, it's only removal. This is not as long as we were robbed. We were. But it's not. Leave Toby alone. Fable Passage. I could not imagine playing Fable Passage in a Boros Aura deck. That is indeed crazy. We got something. A friend for Toby? I'm gonna remove this thing. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. We have Shard, like, Shard Mage's Rescue. <sighs> Never ending struggle, Buzz. All right. Game super exciting. Wow, they finally played some stuff out. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, we got more lands and lands and lands. I promise there's creatures in here, guys. And really cool enchantments. There's dairy, I promise. Oh my fucking god. Okay, you know what? Part of the game. <laughs> <sighs> Guess I should have renewed my arena premium. Guess I should have renewed my arena premium. Yikes. Yeah, you're just about like 20 turns too late. Anyways, it is what it is. Let's get out of here.